the life expectancy of people with sickle cell is between 20 years and 30 years rarely you see individuals who will go up to 40 years but the devastation remains the same in individuals with sickle cell the red blood cells get stuck especially in small blood vessels thereby slowing down and blocking the blood flow and oxygen supply to other parts of the body causing so much pain in these individuals the there is a cure to sickle cell unlike before people used to say there is no cure for sickle cell if you get it you get it but guess what you have to be financially flamboyant or living in a country where all these services are accessible so only in the areas the research revealed that bone marrow transplant or stem cell transplant can be used to cure sickle cell disease there must be a donor that means somebody who has no sickle cell probably a sibling to the person that have the sickle cell disease so there will be genetic testing done to see if they are matched when well, once they match then the bone marrow of the person that does not have sickle cell will be will be harvested and transplanted into the bone marrow of the person that have the sickle cell we all know that red blood cells are formed in the bone marrow so that's going to pick up why the sickle cell blood is being removed from the bone marrow then the one that is transplanted will start growing and producing those red blood cells that have no sickle cell in them that's the aim of this transplant it is a very careful procedure okay but again i have seen people who have done it and today they have no sickle cell traits yes and they are doing perfectly well both the donor and the receiver they are doing so well okay then another thing that can be done if you have money is by in vitro fertilization that's ivf again all these procedures are for people who are rich and living in a country where all these procedures are safely done so in IVF the egg and the sperm will be mixed in the lab and they will leave them alone to grow for about five to six days and they will go back pass it to spectrum test it and see which one has sickle cell and they will remove those ones so the embryos that have no sickle cell threat will be transferred back into the woman and that's how the woman is going to produce children without sickle cell so guys this procedure is called pre-implantation genetic diagnosis pgd okay or you can call it pre-implantation genetic testing so this is done again between the day five to six of having that embryo in a dish and tested for sickle cell traits so the ones that doesn't have sickle cell traits will be transferred back into the woman that's how the woman will have healthy babies without any trait of sickle cell disease okay then if you happen to have a child with sickle cell what do you do how do you manage sickle cell disease number one it's healthy you have to give your child healthy food when i say healthy that means fruits vegetables whole grain lots of protein avoid any processed food all this baking this and that no 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 they ain't good for a patient with sickle cell again another one limit sodium intake you know this table salt and other salty food you got to limit it drastically then drink plenty of water about 10 glasses of water per day hydration adequate hydration is very very important in somebody that has sickle cell disease another one exercise moderately not vigorously otherwise you would trigger sickle cell crisis so exercise moderately and adequately talk to your doctor before you initiate any type of exercise do not smoke or drink alcohol even drugs do not do any of those if you have sickle cell disease to avoid crisis even when you start taking over the counter supplement discuss with your doctor before embarking on that any new medication by any other doctor you have Please discuss with your doctors before you start any new medication. All right. So avoid extreme weather. Too hot, too cold. Please avoid it as much as you can. All these things will trigger 
sickle cell disease crisis and you don't want that before you get married to anybody please know your genotype and know the genotype of the person you intend to marry it's very very important to avoid long lasting devastation in any marital relationship thank you guys for watching another beautiful edition of annie otter vlogs please do not forget to like share and comment on my videos i love you guys i'm your girl annie otter bye